Arg. Ash roared in rage as he charged towards Frieza now in his new Super Saiyan 5 form. Because of the speed of which he was flying, Frieza didn't even have a chance to talk before being sent flying by Ash's fist. Frieza was knocked out of his bubble car and went further into the air but didn't get far before Ash appeared behind him and slamming his fists down on him again, sending him towards the ground and followed after him. Once Frieza landed on the ground, he was immediately bombarded with back and forth punches from Ash. Think of that one ultimate move from Xenoverse 2, I forget what it's called but I'm sure you'll find out what it is. Lord Frieza, hang on I'm coming. Ginyu called out about to help Frieza only for somebody to appear in front of him. It was Paul and he didn't look happy. Yeah, not sorry, but you're not about to get involved, this is going to end now. Paul said as Ginyu growled at the boy standing in his way. Who do you think you are? I am Captain Ginyu, and I won't allow you to get in the way of me helping Lord Frieza. Ginyu stated as Paul raised an eyebrow at that, noting that that name sounded familiar. Ginyu, of the Ginyu force you mean, that Captain Ginyu? Paul questioned wondering if he had that right. Yes boy, I am, the most elite team in the universe, I am Captain Ginyu. Ginyu stated striking a pose. I see, I heard a lot about you and your abilities from my father, you should know him. Paul said as his face started to twitch. Oh, and who is this father of yours boy? Ginyu asked wondering who the father of this little brat is. You know him as Prince Vegeta. Paul said as he started losing control of the expression on his face. Ginyu's eyes widened when he heard this information. Wait, you're Vegeta's brat? Ginyu questioned wondering if this was true. Yes, I am, and my father told me about you Ginyu, he told me you have a certain technique to change bodies with other people is that right, because from what I heard, your appearance isn't what he told me it was. Paul questioned again as Ginyu was getting a bad feeling from this. Yes, that's true, I swapped bodies with another soldier after he was hit in a certain place because of a fusion brat. Ginyu stated as Paul realized that when Ginyu said fusion brat, he meant Goten and Trunks since now that Paul notices, he sees Goten and his brother Trunks here too. K, but this is the important question, can you use the body changing technique, if you can call it out? Paul questioned one last time, hoping that he knew the answer to this one. Yes, that's correct. Ginyu said, and he realized his bad feeling was confirmed when Paul formed a sinister grin appeared on his face and his aura started appearing. Good, because that means, all I need to do is rip your throat out and you won't be able to escape your death. Paul stated in malicious intent as he flared into Super Saiyan 4, his aura blowing away a lot of the soldiers around them. Oh crap. Ginyu said getting flashbacks of when he fought Vegeta on Namek and when he tried to switch bodies, he ended up in the body of a frog. That's right, you guys killed the Namekian, and that caused my ally to transform into a new level of Super Saiyan that I can't turn into right now, thanks to you people, so I'm going to make you all pay for it, and I'm going to start with you. Paul stated, as he punched Ginyu straight to the guy with knock the wind out of him. He then started beating the hell out of Ginyu with a great amount of rage. The others looked surprised at the events taking place at this moment. Why does Paul sound so angry all of a sudden? Roshi asked wondering why Paul was so aggressive at this moment as he watches Paul savagely beat down on Ginyu and Ash was still fighting Frieza on his own. From what I heard from the last thing from Paul, he's mad that Ash got a new level of power and he's taking out rage out on Ginyu. Krillin said having heard what Paul said as he was going ham on Ginyu since Ash got a new level of power thanks to what Ginyu and Frieza did to Piccolo and he was angry that Ash was now on a whole other level than him now. Oh yeah, I remember Ash telling me that when he got Super Saiyan 2 and hid it from Paul, he got angry at Ash for hiding it from him, and now Paul's taking that rage out on Ginyu since he and Frieza caused Ash to reach this new level. Gohan said remembering when Ash told him about this when the Buu event was said and done. Crack. Ah. Ginyu yelled out in pain from Paul breaking his arm. Oh, don't worry, we're just getting started. Paul stated as he continued beating Ginyu into the ground. Speaking of beating people into the ground, Ash was still attacking Frieza with pure rage. Take this. Ash said firing a blast of Frieza who got sent flying because of it. Frieza growled in anger. Wondering how a child monkey was handling him so easily, 
he was Lord Frieza, and he would not take this sitting down. Frieza escaped the blast and fired a large blast at the boy. This attack was the size of a large ball and he fired towards Ash who only looked at it in boredom. Ash held out his hand and caught the attack that was coming for him and tossed it into the air where lots of the soldiers were floating about and were destroyed when the attack went off. Ash looked towards Frieza when he suddenly sensed Frieza's power rising and saw him surrounded by his aura flaring. Frieza let out a yell as he was engulfed in power. When the light died down, Frieza was now in his final form, the same form, Krillin and Gohan both recognized from before, and they were scared at how much power Frieza was letting out now. The power he unleashed even destroyed some of the soldier around him. Frieza had a scowl on his face, even though he finally found a moment to transform into his final form, he was still badly damaged from the beating earlier, if he wants to turn into that new form he has, he has to find another opening to do so, if he does, then he's sure he'll be able to send this monkey to the afterlife where he belongs. He didn't have any more time to think about it before he was hit in the face by Ash again, sending him flying again. Ash started his assault on Frieza again. Only this time, Frieza was having an easier time fending him off now that he was able to release more power now, but he still injured from the earlier beating and still needed to transform into his new state of power if he wants to win this fight. Back with Paul, he was looking down at a beaten and blooded Ginyu who was on his knees but the beating he got from Paul. Well, I guess it's time to end this, say goodbye Ginyu, you'll be reunited with your elite group again. Paul said getting ready to finish off Ginyu but was waiting for something, since if his father told him that Ginyu would try something when cornered. Ginyu smiled, knowing he had one thing left to do now and he would use it to gain an even stronger body to use. Sorry but that's not happening, change now. Ginyu called out as Gohan and Krillin recognized what was going to happen. But before they could do anything, Paul used his speed and got behind Ginyu and tilted his head to the sky and Ginyu didn't have the time to stop the technique as Paul disappeared as he was about to fire it and the beam went off towards one of the remaining soldiers in the sky and it hit him instead. Ginyu blinked as he looked at his hands, realizing that he was now in an even weaker body than before. Before he could freak out about this, the body he just switched from was thrown at him. Ginyu moved the body out of his eyesight and saw something that made him scared. Paul charged up a very familiar technique. Gaelic gun fire. Paul called out as he fired a very large beam of energy towards Ginyu and the rest of the soldiers. Wait no. Ginyu tried to say but couldn't as he was engulfed in the blast, as was the other soldiers. In a moment, Ginyu was dead, and so was the rest of the soldiers, meaning that from the blast from Frieza, Frieza transforming in the blast from Paul, there were no more soldiers on the field now. They were all wiped out, all that meant the only foe left was Frieza. Whoa, now only Frieza's left now. Tien said knowing that the only problem with Earth is Frieza and Ash seems to be handling the problem well right now. Yeah, I hope Ash can beat him, I mean the whole Earth depends on this doesn't it? Bulma asked as she didn't know a lot about fighting but it looks like Ash was winning. I'm sure Ash can win, I mean, they haven't let us down yet right? and with this new form he has, he won't lose. Godin said rooting for his brother. I'm sure we could have beaten Frieza if we hadn't defused, but we'll never know. Trunks said thinking that since Gotenks hurt the Togoma guy earlier, they could have beaten Frieza. Not sure about that but you can dream. Goku said as he, Vegeta, Beerus and Wiss appeared next to the group. Dad. Godin and Trunks said seeing their fathers appear back on Earth. Goku had decided to use instant transmission since Ash's energy was so large right now and used that to guide his instant transmission. Vegeta, Whis and Beerus tagged along that way since it was faster. Honestly, the two reasons Whis and Beerus came to Earth was one, for the desert that Bulma had prepared for them and the second was to see this transformation of Ash's up close to see the power it gives off. Bulma, do you have that desert you made for us, I would love to taste it. Wiss said as Bulma looked at them. Yes, Wiss is right, I really want to taste it as well, I hope it tastes good or else I'll have to destroy the planet. Beerus said and nobody could tell if he is joking. Look now is not a good time. Bulma said thinking that now wasn't exactly the best time for this. She was scared straight when Beerus held out a hand and a blast appeared. Okay, 
Okay, just don't get mad if it's a little melted. Bulma said going to get the desert making Beerus smirk and make the last disappeared. While she did that, Goku walked up to the dead Piccolo. Gohan could already tell what was going on in his father's head. He sacrificed himself to save me, if only I was stronger, I could have prevented this. Gohan told thinking this was all his fault. Hey, don't worry about it Gohan, we'll bring Piccolo back with the Namek Dragon Balls, there was nothing we could have done. Goku said as he grabbed Piccolo's body and teleported to the lookout and explained to Dend what happened before he got to the field. He teleported back to the field and continued to watch the battle between Ash and Frieza. Ash was still fighting Frieza off angrily but at this point, he had finally calmed down some and fighting more like a martial artist and not like a savage beast. Frieza on the other hand was getting more and more angry as the fight goes on, he needed to transform now. Frieza was punched across the face and was sent flying. He stopped in mid-air and saw four other ashes around him, each of them charging a Kamehameha. Kamehame. The clones chanted as Frieza thought this time was the right moment. Ha. Frieza started powering up, a golden aura starting to engulf his body and Ash noticed this. Do it now. Ash called out to his clones. Ha. The clones all shouted as they fired their respected blast towards the emperor. Yeah. Frieza roared as the beams were about to engulf him and a light shined brightly from this. The blast connected and an explosion occurred making things go quiet for a few moments. Suddenly four beams shot out of the smoke hitting all of the clones and making them disappear. Ash looked at the smoke and it all blew away revealing his enemy. Frieza was in a new form, with his body skin now covered in a shining golden color and not only that, but his power also feels much more powerful. Goku and the others felt Frieza's new level of power in this form and was surprised by how much power he had, except for Lord Beerus and Whis. I was saving this new form for Goku, but I guess you'll have to do, this is Golden Frieza you brat, now prepare to die. Frieza said more powerful than before in charging towards Ash. Once they started fighting again, Ash was made clear that Frieza was slightly more powerful than he was, and he was going to lose this form soon since it was new and he was tiring out, but he was sure that Frieza wouldn't be able to do much since even though he was more powerful now, he was still injured from earlier and not only that, but Ash also had an idea to give him the win in this fight. Frieza continued punching and countering Ash's blows, landing a few of them himself on the young child. Frieza was taking his anger out on the boy from earlier, he was truly pissed off at suffering humiliation from Goku on Namek, but he would never accept it from a child of all people. He fired a barrage of beams at Ash, hitting him and causing some damage but Ash pushed forward and continued to attack the Golden Emperor. About two minutes of fighting and taking more damage from Frieza, Ash noticed that Frieza was losing energy the longer the fight gone on for, seems Frieza's new form was like Ash's, unmastered and brand new, now was the time. Ash clenched his fist using the technique hoping it was truly mastered, if it was, then he was going to be the victor of this fight. Frieza was angry, he was saving all of this power, the power he got from training, the one thing he felt was beneath him, and he was forced to use it against a child monkey, he wanted to use it on Goku to get his revenge on him, but this child was ruining all of that work. Frieza suddenly felt himself getting weaker and weaker and then suddenly he fell out of his golden form and looked at himself in confusion and disbelief. What? What's going on? Frieza demanded in disbelief. Your form is unmastered, you were burning through more energy than your body could supply, I noticed it before and made sure to speed up the process, this battle is over. Ash said with a pant himself as he was getting tired as well and needed to finally put an end to this fight. No this can't be, I will not lose again. Frieza roared in pure rage as he charged at the boy again. Only for him to get hit in the gut by a very powerful blow making him cough up spit. It's over. Ash said landing a bunch of hits on the tired emperor and throwing him towards the sky. Ash cupped his hands and charged energy. Kamehame. Ash chanted as Frieza stopped in midair and held his stomach in pain. No this can't be happening not again. Frieza yelled as Ash finished. Ha. Ash screamed as he fired the biggest Kamehameha he's fired before towards Frieza. Frieza saw it coming and tried to block it. No, 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 no. 
Frieza roared as he was engulfed by the beam, and it was sent flying towards space where it exploded. Frieza screamed as the explosion incinerated him and his body was destroyed. In a moment, everything was clear again. Ash panted as he felt towards the ground, his body glowed, and he reverted to his regular height again and back to his base form and was on his hands and knees. That was for Piccolo. Ash said as he collapsed on the ground in exhaustion. The others flew over to him and landed on the ground to check on him. Is he okay? Krillin asked as they looked over Ash to see if he was alright. Yeah, he's fine, he's just exhausted, that new form of his was amazing and so powerful, it's not a surprise that he's exhausted, let's give him some rest for a while okay. Goku said as he confirmed that Ash was alright, and no bad effects were happening. Sorry but not dealing with that, I have to talk to him about something so back off. Paul said back in his base form and walking up to Ash's body and took out the Senzu bean pouch he had with him, somehow not being destroyed in the fight with Frieza, and fed one of them to the down boy. Ash chewed the bean and, in a moment, his eyes opened and he got back up onto his feet. Oh man, I'm glad we have those Senzu beans or else I would completely exhausted for the rest of the day. Ash said as he cracked his cracked his neck to the side. Glad to see you back up on your feet son, that power was amazing, we felt it from Lord Beerus's planet. Goku said as Ash turned to him. Huh, dad, when did you get here? Ash asked wondering when his father returned to the planet. We came back while you were fighting Frieza, speaking of which, great job, you did what you said you would do, you protected the planet from being destroyed in our absence. Goku said proud of his son for taking on somebody as strong as Frieza was this time around. Goku was sure he or Vegeta could have been Frieza if they went all out, but Ash proved that the new generation was able to pull that off as well. I don't even know what that form was, but it certainly helped put an end to Frieza, though I wished it didn't have to be unlocked because of what happened to Piccolo. Ash said feeling horrible that his master had been killed and he couldn't stop it in time. It's alright son, we can bring Piccolo back with Namek's Dragon Balls, everything will be alright. Goku said consoling his son who nodded. That was certainly impressive. Lord Beerus said walking up to the group. It certainly was my lord. Wis said coming to the group as well. That power was something else, I want to know what it was exactly. Vegeta said as he needed to know what power Ash unleashed in the fight against Frieza. Well, knowing that it looked like an advanced version of Super Saiyan 4, I guess it can just known as Super Saiyan 5. Wis told thinking that was the best way to put that new transformation. Super Saiyan 5, amazing, the power was simply staggering. Paul said knowing he had to get that same form, but how, Ash got it from seeing the Namekian dead on the ground, the rage he must have felt, must have been insane, he had to find a way to unlock the transformation for himself, he wouldn't allow Ash to stay ahead of himself for long. It certainly was powerful, but I couldn't hold it for very long, like Frieza's form, mine was running out of power quick, the reason Frieza dropped out of his form first was because of the damage I dealt to him earlier and using force spirit fission to take the rest of his energy away. Ash explained knowing that while the form was strong, Frieza was stronger in his golden form, so using force spirit fission was the right decision in the end. Impressive, makes me wonder what would happen if you became a super saiyan god, you would probably more powerful than Goku and Vegeta right now. Lord Beerus said knowing that Ash's potential is much higher than theirs at this moment. You really think so? Ash asked wondering if that was really possible to become stronger than Goku and Vegeta at this moment, since he could tell that the training they did has made them much stronger than ever before. After seeing what happened to Frieza, I'm sure you can only become much stronger than you were before, unless you changed your much about training under me. Wis said thinking that Ash no longer wanted train under him. No. I still do, but I think I should focus on being able to use Super Saiyan 5 again before I do. I should have that form on standby just in case I'm not able to become a Super Saiyan God when I need to. I wanna train more before I train under you Wis. Ash told us now that he's got Super Saiyan 5, it'd be much easier to protect the Earth, if he can figure out how to transform into it again. I guess that's okay. Well I think it's time for everyone to leave this place, best to put everything back to normal. Wis told as everyone agreed. That's right, head to the lookout son, 
I'll go to Namek and get the Dragon Balls, we'll be seeing Piccolo back soon. Goku said placing two fingers to his forehead and teleporting to Namek. Alright, guess I'll go there now. Ash said teleporting to the lookout to wait for Piccolo's revival. Guess we should all get going too. Krillin said as the group agreed. Later that day, Ash was happy again. Goku had gotten Piccolo revived with the Dragon Balls and now they were just talking. I see, so he had a golden form huh? Piccolo asked knowing that he missed a lot when he had died. Yeah, he did, and it was powerful. Goku said even though, he didn't fight Frieza himself, he knew just from feeling it, he knew Frieza was really powerful. And you unlocked a new transformation because of what happened to me right? Piccolo asked as Ash nodded knowing it was true. Yeah, when I saw your dead body and hearing Frieza laugh about it, it made me snap and transform, into the level of power known as Super Saiyan 5. Ash told as the death of his master was the reason he transformed. And you managed to defeat Frieza with that power, huh, yes you've truly moved up in the world. Piccolo smirked knowing that, even though he was killed earlier he was avenged in the end of the battle. Thanks Master Piccolo. Ash said glad to have his master back. Man, Frieza was strong, wasn't he? Goten said knowing that Frieza was so strong, that Goten knew that he would be no match for him. Yeah, he was, but one day we'll show him who's truly strong, we'll beat on our own, I'll slice him down the maybe. Trunks said making a down slice making some of the others look at him in surprise. Trunks looked confused at the stairs. What? Trunks asked confused, only for the others to laugh as even Ash and Paul were confused as well. Hey guys, the food is ready, come on and dig in. Bulma called out to the boys, seeing everyone else getting their fill in. Ash could see Gohan was back up and running with his injuries healed and wearing some causal clothing while holding Pan in his arms. They went over and started eating the food. Gohan walked up to Piccolo who had food of his own. Piccolo, can I talk to you about something important? Gohan asked to his former mentor. What is it Gohan? Piccolo questioned what could be bothering his former student. Well, I realized that I've lost my power after not fighting for a while. I realized this once we started fighting Frieza. I need to be stronger if I'm going to protect my family. I failed before and it cost you your life. And Ash had to be the one to save us from Frieza. I don't to be on the sidelines if we ever get attacked again, can you please train me again, like you used to? Gohan asked of Piccolo, wanting to start training again, to become strong enough to protect his family and make sure that nobody dies again because he was too weak to prevent it. Piccolo was silent for a moment before speaking. Alright, I'll do it, but you better be prepared for the toughest time of your life, because I don't plan on going easy on you. Piccolo said as Gohan smiled. Thank you so much Piccolo. Gohan said grateful to his former mentor. Hmm. Piccolo nodded. Ash watched this from his seat and eating a bunch of food. He looks to see Goku and Vegeta talking about something. He hears something about working together but deciding that fighting alone works better. Ash shook his head and looked towards Paul who looked to be thinking to himself. Ash walked up to him. Hey, what are you thinking about Paul? Ash asked to his friend and rival. Paul stayed quiet for a moment before finally speaking. It's that Super Saiyan 5 form you shown off against Frieza, can you even transform into it again? Paul questioned wondering if Ash was even able to assess the power of Super Saiyan 5 again. No, I don't think I can, I tried to earlier but I just couldn't transform into it again, I guess I needed some sort of trigger to do so, Piccolo is back so I just don't feel that same level of rage I felt earlier against Frieza. Ash explained as he couldn't transform into Super Saiyan 5 anymore because he didn't feel the same feeling he felt earlier. Well, I'm sure we can figure this out, because I'm going to gain that same transformation you got, I refuse to be left behind, so for now, we don't go to WIS for training, for now, we're going to find a way to assess Super Saiyan 5, that way, we've truly surpassed a Super Saiyan God with our primal power, then we'll gain the power of a Super Saiyan God to gain more power. That way, we won't have to rely on our fathers, it's like your dad said, the new generation is stepping in right. Paul explained as Ash nodded, knowing what Paul said made sense. Super Saiyan 5 allowed Ash to defeat Frieza, the fact that Frieza was stronger than a Super Saiyan even after all the damage he sustained before going golden, 
meant that even as a Super Saiyan 4, they may not have won. They need to become even stronger than before to protect their world and having Super Saiyan 5 would make protecting the world like it did today so worth it to achieve. That does make sense, but what can we do? I don't know how to go back into that state, and you haven't achieved the transformation, so, how are we supposed to do this? Ash asked wondering if Paul had a plan for this. That's simple, the Elder Kai will have some answers. Paul said as if it was simple. The Elder Kai. Ash asked wondering what he had to do about this. Think about this, he knew how to get us to Super Saiyan 4, so he might have the answer to achieving Super Saiyan 5 again, think about it. Paul said as Ash's eyes winded at that. Of course, since the Elder Kai knew the secret of achieving Super Saiyan 4, then he might know the secret of unleashing Super Saiyan 5, it's so simple. That's true, that's genius, all we need to do is go to the Elder Kai and he can probably figure out how to unlock Super Saiyan for us, this just might work. Ash said thinking that this could work in the end since the Elder Kai hasn't failed them yet. Of course, but we need to find a way to get to him, any ideas? Paul asked knowing that the only problem in this was finding a way to get to the Elder Kai on the Supreme Kai's planet. Oh, that's easy, I'm sure Wiz could take us if we offer some food in return. Ash said knowing that all they need to do is offer Wiz some of the food they have here and most likely, he'll take them to the Elder Kai. Alright, we'll ask him before he leaves today. Paul said knowing that they should enjoy the party while it's still going on. Okay then, now come on, we should get some of the food before Dad and Lord Beerus eats it all. Ash said knowing that if they wait any longer, they won't have any food left to eat. Fine, come on. Paul said knowing that was true since they like to eat a lot. They walked over to the table and began to grab some food for themselves before it was all gone. After a while, Beerus was full and Wiss was satisfied with the food that was served. That was delicious, but it's time to go, come on Wiss, let's go. Beerus said knowing that he wanted to go relax back on their planet before the Saiyans started to train on there again. Yes, my lord, Goku, Vegeta, be sure to be back on the planet for more training later. Wiss said as Goku and Vegeta nodded. Yep, I'll be there for sure Wiss. Goku said as he wanted to train more since they didn't really have a chance to show off what they had since Ash was the one who managed to defeat Frieza, so they had a chance to practice it more before showing off what they had. Alright then, well, I guess we'll be off then. Wiss said about to tap his staff and leave. Wait, hold on Wiss, can you do us a favor? Ash said running up to Wiss as Paul followed. Hmm, a favor you say, and what would that be? Wiss asked wondering what this favor could possibly be. Well, we were wondering if tomorrow, you could bring me and Paul to the Supreme Kai planet. Ash asked wondering if Wiss could take them there to help with their plan to reach Super Saiyan 5. Oh, and whatever for. Wiss questioned wondering what the boys had in mind by doing this. As this conversation caught the ears of the others. Well, me and Paul were thinking, and he had a good idea. The Elder Kai was the one who managed to help us attain the Super Saiyan 4 transformation, so we're wondering if he has a way for us to unleash the Super Saiyan 5 transformation, that's why I'm wondering if you can take us there. Ash explained his reasoning to the angel, and for some reason, Ash swore he heard Beerus muttering about an old Kai somehow escaping the sword he placed him in. Hmm, I guess I can do that, in exchange for tasty food. Wiss said knowing that he would want some tasty earth food for doing this. No problem, I can make some more ramen z if that will be enough for you. Ash asked knowing he could make some more ramen as that's what it takes to get to the Supreme Kai planet. Yes, that will more than enough, I'll be here at Capsule Core at noon tomorrow, see you there. Wiss said as he finally tapped his staff and light engulfed him, and they both disappeared. Wait a minute Ash, you think the old timer on the Supreme Kai's planet can help you use Super Saiyan 5 again? Goku asked wondering if that was the case. Yes, if the Elder Kai helped us reach Super Saiyan 4, then it's possible that he has something that'll allow us to reach Super Saiyan 5 at will, the Elder Kai hasn't let us down yet, so we have no reason to doubt this plan of R. Ash said knowing the Elder Kai had to have something to do about this. Hmm, why don't you try figuring it out for yourself, be a true warrior and figure out the transformation for yourself. Vegeta said thinking that they didn't need to go to some old man to figure things out that a Saiyan should. 
Why this problem really doesn't concern you dad, so you should stick to your own thing, we've got this one. Paul said as Vegeta snorted hearing this from his own son of all people. Well, let's get home, I wanna get work done so I can train again. Goku said knowing it was getting late, and Chi Chi was busy talking to Bulma and Vital who had Pan with her, so she didn't hear anything about Ash going to the Supreme Kai planet. Yeah, let's go, I have to get what I need to ingredients needed to make with his food, I might need to make some of Lord Beerus too just in case. Ash said thinking that he should make some of Lord Beerus as well, just to be sure since he didn't want him to think he's wasting Whis's time. Good idea, Lord Beerus got really angry the last time we ate his food, so best to be prepared then to not be I say. Goku said knowing that when he and Vegeta ate all the pizza when they trained in Whis's staff, Beerus went after them trying to destroy them, it was a miracle they survived that time around. Good to know dad, at least this way, me and Paul will have a way to reach Super Saiyan 5 again, we have to grasp it, I know we can. Ash said hyped up for this and a chance to reach a new level of power again. Alright then, son, if you're sure, now come, let's get Chi Chi and Goten and go on home. Goku said as Ash nodded. Within a few minutes, the family was back home and went back inside to enjoy themselves for the rest of the night. The next day Supreme Kai Planet. Elder Kai was just enjoying the fresh breeze when he suddenly felt a familiar energy starting to head this way. Huh, what the, why would he be coming here? Elder Kai said as Supreme Kai looked at his ancestor in confusion. Huh, what do you mean, what's happening? Supreme Kai asked but before he could get an answer. A familiar light crashed down onto the planet making them all look at it in confusion. When it died down, it was revealed to be Wiss, and he had two people with him, Ash and Paul. Hey Elder Kai, we have to talk to you. Ash said getting the god's attention. Huh, me, about what exactly? Elder Kai asked confused on what the boy wanted to talk to him about. Well, yesterday, Frieza came back to earth and did some damage and killed my master and because of that I unlocked a new transformation. Ash told to the Elder Kai but the Old Kai piped in. Oh, you mean Super Saiyan 5, right? Elder Kai asked as Ash looked at him kinda surprised. Yeah, it was, how did you know? Ash questioned back as Elder Kai shook his head. It'd be hard not to notice with the amount of energy you unleashed back there, so we saw what it looked like, but that doesn't explain what you're doing here. Elder Kai said knowing it wasn't hard to figure out that Ash's transformation let out a large amount of energy, enough to catch the Kai's attention. Well, that's the thing, even though I tapped into Super Saiyan 5, I can't seem to do it again, since you helped Gohan unlock his potential and helped me and Paul unlock Super Saiyan 4, we thought you would have some answers on how we can tap into Super Saiyan since you haven't really let us down yet. Ash explained to the Elder Kai since he was sure he could help. Hmm, well, from what I can tell from what you were feeling earlier, it was a perfect cocktail of willingness to kill, grudge and excitement, but now that Frieza is dead, and Piccolo is alive again, you can't remember that state of tension and therefore, can't transform into a Super Saiyan 5 again. I see. Ash said thinking this was a failure. But since you have so much faith and respect for me, then I've decided to help, I'll help you both, and turn you into Super Saiyan 5s. Elder Kai proclaimed making Ash and Paul look at him in surprise. You can do that. Paul asked for the first time since he got here. Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll do whatever I can to help. Think of this like another trial in your lives boys, if this works you two will surpass your limits like you've done before. Elder Kai told to the boys who nodded their heads. Yes. The two boys said. Well. If that's all, I'll be going, Ash, I'm sure you don't need me around anymore as you can probably use instant transmission to return to Earth when you're done here. Wiss said as he was going to go now. Okay, thanks for bringing us here Wiss. Ash thanked to the angel who nodded and left the planet. Alright, so which one of you will be trying to attain Super Saiyan 5 first? Elder Kai said knowing that they were apparently starting now. That would be me. Paul said stepping forward surprising Ash. Huh, you are Paul? Ash asked confused. Yes, remember, you went Super Saiyan 5 first against Frieza, that means it's my turn to get the form, I won't be left behind since you got the form first. Paul said wanting to get the form, knowing that if he doesn't, 
Ash will be ahead of him and that might make things more difficult for himself. I guess that makes sense, okay go on ahead. Ash said knowing it was only fair for Paul to get the form now. Right, now, what do we do now to achieve it? Paul asked wanting to get started. Well, it involves a technique I know, but I have to be sure, are you ready for this, both of you? Elder Kai asked wanting to be absolutely sure about this. Yes, we're ready. Ash and Paul stated together. The let's begin. Elder Kai said as the boys were clear on their decision. Time to see if this works to reach a new level of power again. 